All right, so what I do after I actually get everything screwed in, I try to tighten it as much as I can. I try to go back around and just like retry to tighten it again. So, because I really want this to be as tight as possible. So just go around again and try to get everything, make sure it's, it's tight. And you probably can use like a power drill. It'd probably be a lot easier to try to make this as tight as possible, but using the hands, uh, screwdriver works as well. Just make sure everything's tight. So I'm just gonna go back around and just make sure everything's tight. Why are you trying to make sure everything is tight? Try to make sure all your corners are touching if you can. So just try to push everything together. Make sure things are tight. All right, so once you have it, everything tight, try to uh, actually hold it up and see if you can, if any of the sides actually twist or turn. So once you check that and everything checks out, you can actually start putting these other L brackets on the side here, or in the middle. And as you can see, the holes here, they actually uh, screw on to the frame, uh, simply like that. It's very straightforward. So again, like I said, most of this is uh, really simple to do. I mean, uh, Mark did a really great job of building this frame. So let's just go ahead and get started here. Again, you're taking the screw and putting it from the outside in, and just put it over the L bracket. And again, what I do, I just go ahead and try to hand screw on the nut. And then just try to make sure it's straight or even as you can. Let me try to see if you can uh, see this. Don't try to have it crooked. Just try to make sure it's even with the actual frame. So just take your regular screws and your pliers and just start screwing it in place. So there you have it. What I again recommend is going around it again and just trying to make it sure as everything is tight. Make sure you really can't move it with your hand. But again, looking at the final product, everything looks good. And just check it out. And again, I really recommend this frame. I mean, really, you don't have that many uh, much of a choice if you don't uh, have that many, that much knowledge or experience of uh, dealing with aluminum or have the tools to actually cut the frame. So. It's a really great frame. Uh, I'm not disappointed at all, so I don't really have any negative complaints about it. So I really recommend uh, contacting uh, Mark if he doesn't have the actual frame size that you need for your glass, because he will actually custom cut it. So uh, that's not a problem either. So um, yeah, I hope this helps. And if you have any questions or suggestions or anything, just uh, feel free to comment or send me a message or send Mark a message. I mean, he's really helpful as well. I've contacted him many of times and he's always uh, uh, getting back to me fairly quick. So I really recommend Mark. I love his customer su support. Seems like a really nice guy. So you really can't go wrong using, again, my videos and his videos to build your own solar panel, whether you use wood or aluminum. But I really recommend aluminum because it's gonna last a lot longer, guys. So. Again, I hope this helps, and again, tell your friends about this who may be interested in solar energy, and I will see you next time.